Hello, hello, lovely internet people. So, what we have today is the long waited DKH KZ laser engraver. I would like to shout out big thanks to Gearbest. For the longest time, I waited and wanted something with the CNC related. And when I get the opportunity to test this out, this is 1000 milliwatt laser engraver. And let's start with it. What we have inside is them. We have one gigabyte SD card with the appropriate software inside. Have first time I see this because I watched a couple of unboxings of those and I always seen printed leaflets. And this time it's actually a real manual. What we can expect inside is one machine, focusing glasses, data power cable, power cable, L-type wrench. CF cause and manual. Let's start with cables, packaged really well. One power USB cable and one data USB cable. Little block of wood, real nice pair of glasses. Allen wrench. Small little thing, test print. I hope that the quality is going to be up to the par. Once again, this is a 1000 milliwatt laser engraver. Theoretically, it only should work with only Windows, XP, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10. I already tested out with MacBook and I will show you later on how to install appropriate software to be able to be working with MacBook. DPI is 350, laser wavelength is 405 nanometers, it gets up to 400 degrees of Celsius, the resolution is 512 by 512 pixels for the images themselves and it's basically a bitmap carving. You have two input ports, so basically one is for the power and another one is for the data, for the images to be uploaded. You have one button up top which is start top we have our 1000 milliwatt laser laser is moving from side to side and the platform is moving back and forth as you can see on the pad itself we have two rubber bands to support whatever we are going to be engraving so it should not move it can carve areas up to 38 millimeters by 38 millimeters so it's not much but for the small work it's quite sufficient enough and uh, without further ado let's boot it up and see it in action before we go to the printing part i want to show you how to run Neji laser engraver on the mac in the first place and so both of the links are going to be in the description but basically what you need to do is to download uh, this driver assign mac os driver for vichypad ch340 serial bridge and just click it and install it uh, so it's simple as just clicking it then it downloads the zip file you click on it uh, it extracts go inside and just double click it and press next 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 and whatever install this driver and the next thing is to download dbeam 1b2 app just download it once again a zip file for your convenience sake you can drag it out to the desktop after you download it just connect your engraver to the to your computer okay now double click the app that you downloaded and uh, as you can see it is connected to it so you can go to to lower left corner and uh, you can go back to the center so what you need to do now is just upload any picture you want but this program has its limitations for example let's go to pictures and get standard picture you drag it and drop it and as you can see normally on the windows software if you would press up it would go step up if you go right it would step right and this one it doesn't do anything and uh, another problem is you cannot really enhance the picture lower it or make it bigger or whatever all the editing abilities are not included in the mac version 
but nevertheless you know if it's the only one computer you have then you can make all those adjustments with the Photoshop or another uh, picture editing software or whatever so so let's try to engrave this one so right now the preview bounding box which you're going to be renting on so I do not go do not go overboard a lot of experience experimenting with those kind of materials and times just press start and let's begin Even though it says that it doesn't work with MacBook or macOS, it does work. Yeah, you need to go a little uh, run around. You cannot use standard software which you are getting in this small SD card. But nevertheless, you know, you can run it on macOS. Maybe it's not as good or functional as it would be with the Windows software, but still, it does work. So. If you like my video and you like this product in particular, uh, go into the link down below. I'm going to be showing where to get it and the uh, coupon code. And basically, yeah, you can get it from gearbuzz.com. Price is around from 70 to 90 bucks, depending where are you living, what the shipping arrangement or whatever. But prices and those always are changing, so be sure to check out the gearbest.com very nice site, I had very good experience with them, I needed some assistance, I wrote to them, and actually somebody spoke with me in English, not that pigeon English crap that uh, another shop give you, just copy pasting standard messages or whatever, so thanks for watching and uh, next video I'm going to be cutting all the different materials, leather, plexiglass, CDs, DVDs, wood, laminates as well, you know, laminated boards, PCB boards and whatever, I will try this on literally each and every material that I can get my hands off, even metal, I will try to etch painted metal I guess, since this is not powerful enough to etch the metal itself, so thanks for watching and have a nice day.